The platform that I'm releasing today builds on the work of the last four years. It's a concrete plan to create jobs, to diversify our economy in the energy sector and beyond, and to defend the public services that everyday people rely on. This is a comprehensive platform that lays out our plan across a broad spectrum of issues, from keeping government clean, to reconciliation with Indigenous people, to supporting small business. But let me take a moment to focus on a few of its key commitments. First, we are taking bold action within a vision for our changing energy future. From the start, I have fought hard to build pipelines. I haven't been shouting and I haven't been stomping my feet. Rather, we have been working strategically to build a national consensus with determination and with conviction. And today, a strong and growing majority of Canadians support a pipeline that we all own. A pipeline that will get built. But we need to do more to get more value from our resources and create more jobs from the resources that we all own. And so our first commitment is to supercharge energy upgrading here in Alberta. Picking up where Premier Peter Lougheed left off, we will stop shipping our jobs to Texas and keep them here in Alberta, turning our raw energy into the products the world needs most. Our plan will attract 70,000 new jobs and $75 billion in private sector investment in the very task of upgrading and refining our resources over the course of the next 10 years. Secondly, we are taking action to improve, not privatize, and certainly not make drastic cuts to our healthcare system. Our plan also continues to provide health providers with stable, predictable funding and targets new resources to reducing surgical and emergency wait times. Thirdly, we are taking action to strengthen our economy by making it easier for parents, particularly women, to enter the workforce. Supporting families through the recession has been a top priority for me and our team from the very beginning. Child poverty in Alberta is the lowest in the country, and that is something that all Albertans can and should be proud of. It says a lot about the character of this province. Now, our plan builds on this progress, supporting families with the expansion of the $25 a day childcare to every childcare space in the province. Fourth, we are making sure that our kids get the best education possible and that Albertans can upgrade their skills. Our plan builds 70 new schools, hires new teachers and support staff, and modernizes our curriculum. It also makes high school upgrading tuition free so that Albertans can get the skills they need in a changing economy. So, to sum up, my priority is people fighting for everyday Albertans. Good jobs in a more diversified economy good hospitals, good schools, affordable childcare. On track to balance the budget with the lowest debt, the lowest taxes, and the best balance sheet in the country.